Hey guys, so we received new Stars of the Month cards as well as the Stadium Series cards for the Tampa Bay Lightning and Nashville Predator game. We're going to go over all those and how those work for people that may not know. If you enjoyed the content, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel for the most up-to-date news, tips, and info for NHL 22. All right, let's get into the new content. All right, we'll kick things off with the 89 Moritz Sider, slowly becoming one of the better right-handed defensemen. 89 overall, he's six foot four, 88 speed, 90 acceleration. So he is still kind of under that cusp of where you want to be. But if you are a free-to-play player, or maybe you you start around the holiday season for you guys, uh, if you can get this card around 50,000 coins, I think this is a decent value because he is so big um, and decent skating at 90 90 acceleration. 88 speed is tough, but again, you if you pair him with someone much faster, like let's say. Quinn Hughes, for example, uh, this could be a really good card because in his own zone, he is going to be very, very good. His ability to knock people off the puck is just going to be great. Jamie Ben gets an 89 overall with Fly the Zone as well as Spark and Thief, uh, which is a little weird. Uh, he does get up to 86 on the draw, so I mean, technically, he could probably be used at center if you have Fly the Zone activated as well. But 89 speeds, 87 acceleration. Like for the, an 89 overall card, you're gonna have to pay like 40k roughly. Just not worth it in my opinion. The last of the prime times today, we got the 91 Gabriel Landis card with 90 acceleration, 90 uh, speed as well uh, with workhorse and distributor. Faceoff's actually pretty good as well. And then he's got the new close quarters with eight ability points and then total eclipse. Not a bad centerman at all actually. Like. Decent size at six foot one and decent defensive stats as well. The 91s is usually where you can kind of save your value. I've mentioned this a number of times, um, just in terms of how much they cost. And as you see, like 90s are going for like 45,000, and this 91 Landis Cog is going to be 55. If you can activate Workhorse and Distributor, I would much rather have this card play center, obviously, with Total Eclipse activated. And again, close quarters. With the new cost going down to eight and then four for the silver one, I do think it's kind of an interesting one to look to activate. On to the new stars of the month. Uh, we've got the 93 Robin Kovacs with Fly the Zone and Workhorse. 93 speed, 91 acceleration on him. He's got close quarters as well as Make It Snappy and Snipe. Both of these got a reduction in cost. So, I'm again, I'm kind of curious about trying out these ones. Uh, again, just because they are a bit cheaper to see if you can score a lot more with these. Um, as opposed to just activating all of the defensive abilities that we had prior going into the AP update. His shot is in the mid-90s as well. Not a bad left-handed winger, in all honesty, if you can get Workhorse and fly the zone active. Then we've got the 93, Jason Atkinson, with Wingman, Workhorse, and Distributor. Snipe, tape to tape, and make it snappy. Starting to see, again, a, a pretty big trend ever since the change in the APs. 93 speed, 93 acceleration. This is essentially the right-handed version of Kuro Kaprizov. I think that, you know, there's a lot better out there just because there's a lot bigger players with the same skating and shot and whatnot um, it's all going to depend on what his price ends up falling in at because he has 93 overall that keeps his value up a little too high in my opinion i just think that there's far better options for the cost going uh, for right-handed wingers jan kostelik 93 overall six foot one right-handed defenseman with distributor and workhorse tape to tape seeing eye and gold stick him up which is a really nice ability combo for him 91 speed 90 acceleration uh, so not bad s skating is six foot one defensively he's great with his abilities and stick or and his uh and his um attributes in terms of his cost though like under 100k if he got down to like 80 85 i think i'd pull the trigger in all honesty henrik to uh, tomernis i want to say i'm definitely spelling that wrong 93 overall with booming shot as well as bombarded or gladiator and again a really nice combo with truculence heat seeker and tape to tape 93 speed 92 acceleration a decent shot and great uh defensive abilities as well again in terms of left-handed defenseman there's not a lot of amazing ones that aren't master sets uh, in terms of what he's going for in the auction now it's 123,000 right now but it's not selling if he got to like 100k this wouldn't be a bad price at all this is like a cheap version of morgan riley and then we've got the 93 christian engstrand six foot with light the lamp as well as distributor post to post and light work um at only six foot guys even with these abilities just not worth it at all so this would be a hard pass and if i packed them i might even throw them into the set for 90 plus and then lastly we've got the 93 sebastian repo six foot three centerman and this is actually a really really good card he comes with gold big tipper which did drop down to four crease crashers at three and then total eclipse at two then he's got 93 speed 93 acceleration on him and great defensive abilities as well and 87 on the draw this is a cheaper version of and a, and a faster version of austin matthews in all honesty he's going for 130k for the one up right now 
Not a bad price. I'd like to see him come down a little bit more, but this is one of the examples where these Stars of the Month cards, because they're not as popular in North America, they do have a lot of value in terms of actually using them on your team. Just a really nice price for this kind of a card. All right, now, guys, on to the Stadium Series cards. So these cards will all go up by plus three, depending on what team wins. So the Stadium Series this year does have the Tampa Bay Lightning taking on the Nashville Predators. And whatever team wins, these cards will go up by plus three. Skating only goes up by 0.5, guys. So in some cases, they might only go up one. In some cases, it might go up two. There's really no way to tell until you actually see the card come out. So he's got Applesauce Protector as well as well. Round on this Taylor Radish, six foot three. A really nice meta style forward for anyone that plays um, that puck possession game at six foot three, uh, 97 balance and a really good shot. Again, it would make it snappy. And if you throw unstoppable force on him, it's, it's going to be really hard to get the puck off of him. Um, and if he does win, like if Tampa wins, you're looking at a really, really nice card. Alex Kalorin's up next with booming shot as well as spark or workhorse, 90 speed, 91 acceleration as close quarters and third eye and a decent shot at six foot one. This card's going for about 120,000 in the auction house, whereas Taylor Rash is going for like 200 K. Um, that's shooting. A, I'm, I, I'm not, I wouldn't recommend spending that much because if they don't go up in value, they're going to plummet quite a bit, but, um, this one's not bad either. I think that I'd much rather have the Taylor Radish though. And lastly, I've got the 92 cow foot with magician as well as distributor or wingman. So his acceleration or his speed will be at 89 and then 91 of the other one with Gold Thunder Clap at six now, and Truculence at three. A really, really good defensive card, obviously, at six foot four. And if he does win, that means his skating is going to go into the 90. This is the one of the ones where if you bet on, you're going to have a really nice card. Um, whereas if you miss, you're probably going to have to overpay. So you got to shoot your shot here. But if you think the Lightning are going to win, this would be the one I would take my shot on. On to the Nashville Predators. So again, these will go up by plus three if Nashville wins. We've got Yakov Trinan with Spark or, or um, but, uh, Workhorse with Buzzing as his other one with Gold Quick Draw and Snipe. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 94 draw on the draws. His defensive awareness is only 89 though. Like at six foot two, that's great size. And Gold Quick Draw is nice as well. I just think that, again, it's going to depend on what you have to pay for them. And the Nashville ones are definitely cheaper. There's none up right now. But I, I honestly wouldn't because if they don't win, um, you know, it's just tough. I don't like that defensive awareness. Not that he's not a good card, in all honesty. Like, even at 95, though, he could have really low skating for only being six foot two. It's like a worse Leon Dreisaitl. Then we've got the 92, Philip Myers, who was one of the best master set cards last year in NHL 21. We got Workhorse and Bombarded or Buzzing with 1T and Gold Bouncer, which is a really nice ability combo. At six foot five, another huge righty. If they win, again, anytime that you get a defenseman that's above six foot three and gets into 90 skating, You've got a really dangerous card on your hands. He's got great defensive stats, and Bouncer's a really nice card as or a nice ability as well. This could be a really fun one if Nashville does pull off the win here. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to invest a lot in Tampa. I mean, 160, again, there's only two up right now. At like 125 is where I would immediately pull the trigger. And then lastly, we've got the 90 to Dante Fabro with buzzing and light the lamp as well as booming shot and gladiator. So his speed does get to 93, acceleration 92. Love the silver stick him up. Uh, Heat Seeker, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, with the good defensive stats all the way around. At six foot, I think that, again, the cost is probably going to outweigh um, what I would want because even if he got to 95, I don't know if I would pay 135 for him, but it's a lot cheaper. And again, at 95, you could probably resell him for more, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's content. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.